Hey guys, Evans was at 111 here today, bringing the next episode of my Witcher 3 Adventures series. In this episode, I'm going to be taking a contract called Lord of Wood, because basically, up on a notice board somewhere, someone said that they need a professional monster hunter. Not just any monster hunter, professional one, so I'm um, pretty excited about this one. I'm looking forward to seeing what's so complicated that they can't just go out and get someone normal to kill it. I'm guessing. I would have to guess it's a spirit of some kind, but that I literally know nothing about this quest. I've just seen that contractor more. I haven't spoken to anyone or anything of the sort. So um, this is the giver of a contract over here, this little halfling. Welcome, Master Witcher. What do you have to say for yourself? Saw the notice. Let's say I'm interested. That's good. Grand even. Name's Breen Hotch. I posted that slip. Gonna need details. Course, course. Well, through a series of regrettable events, I came to own a spread of forest ripe for logging, near Novigrad. At a distance from any roads, but quite near the port. Easy gold, right? Just hire some lumberjacks and count the coin. Meant details about the monster, not your business. Oh, it's all linked, see? I took on some dwarven loggers, but they came to me, claiming the forest haunted. Knew it. Thought them lazy, nothing more. Then one day, they went in the wood, and only one returned. All Said right. some forest devil had attacked him. Alright, so let's haggle for my price. Let's talk about Always my Always haggle for my price, see how much I can get. Now, it's never usually too high, so I'm going to settle around 310, hoping that'll be alright. Nope, okay. Mm, you're not cheap. But I can see you've tried to be reasonable. Okay, so that's close to what you want. So let's say 300. That must be alright. Nope, never mind. You're not cheap. He still doesn't like 300. Alright, let's just say 285. Surely that will be enough. What? You're not it's only a bonus of 24. Okay, a bonus of 15. Okay, this will be fine, right? Very well. Okay, thank God. That was way more difficult than I thought. I'll take the job. This logger. Where'll I find him? Around. Last I saw him. He was drinking away his pay. Said he had to honour his dead comrades. Alright, so is he going to be in this tavern? Nope, he's in the woodcutters. Oh, okay, he's drinking on his own. So let's... Oh, hello, there's another lumberjack here. I'm going to quickly see what he has to say, and then I'll see you guys when I get to the other guy. Oh, okay. This guy's relevant. Um, we tried to explain. So Some horror was prowling the He's the one who I was supposed to talk to. I don't know why I was supposed to go so far away, but he might be able to give me some useful information. He's hired me. Wants me to find the beast that attacked you and your friends. Is that so? Well, I take back what I said. Good man, Breen. Though I have one. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? <sighs> we were making our way out of the forest. Loaded with wood like pack horses. All of a sudden we heard a bloody howl. Like a wolf's. Pack leaders. We legged it, but then the cartwheel was stuck. Uh, right then. So, is it some kind of banshee? So I ran. Come back to the woods. Bloody plow and massacre. Couldn't tell me mates apart. So it's something... Thanks. Really helpful there. Something haunting, but it sort of howls. It wouldn't just be as simple as a wolf. Maybe a... Uh, oh, don't be werewolves. Werewolves in this game have ridiculous regeneration. They are so hard to kill. But, um... Give me now I'm going to be going to the hut where Hotch is staying, and uh, I found out that through him, but that didn't exactly reveal many details as far as the investigation goes, so I'll cut across the fields, and I don't know why I decided to do this quest at night. I probably could have done it during the day if I wanted it to be a little um, easier for me to see and get around, but the first episode of the series, whilst it didn't exactly gain too many views, the people who did watch it did enjoy it, and they liked the sort of format, it's um, very kind of... Uh, one off in that you do an episode, you don't have to see the previous episodes in order to watch the few future episodes, and um, obviously it doesn't spoil. And if anything ever came close to spoiling the game, then I would have like flags and warnings everywhere. Like, even if one of the characters just mentioned, Oh, uh, this ever since Standy Lion died, or whatever, and I'd be like, um, Okay, guys, don't watch this episode, or I I'd give warnings before and after, unless I just didn't realize the spoiler was that Dandelion doesn't die, okay? I, I was joking when I said that. Need to find the spot where they died. Okay, so this is the scene of the crime. This looks like a whack -o thingy that's gone off course, like crashed. What does that? Deep ruts. Logger's wagon must have stopped here. Okay. Went down this road. 
Probably towards their clearing. So this is where it started when it went down that way. Is there nothing to investigate here though? I figured there'd be a clue or two. I hear some wolves in the distance, but that's to be expected. Alright, let's um let's follow where the tracks go from the wagon and then we can see where um well they probably got slaughtered, if I had to guess. So it does just follow the road mainly, so it doesn't look as though there was any kind of distress or any kind of problem, then I'm assuming there'll be one point where it comes off the road. And Okay, there's um drowners to my left, I think that was drowners. And no, it's still following the road. So absolutely nothing suspicious so far. Uh, you see, if it was me, and if I was a witch, I'd just say it was probably bandits. But no, the other guys are saying there was like a loud howling and the corpses were dismembered and stuff. Okay, so here's the wagon. And is this a There was a fight here. Two dwarves and something big. It's gotta be a werewolf. Come on. It's gonna be a werewolf, isn't it? Right, footsteps. A dwarf went this way. And what about over here? Wounded dwarf tried to flee, bleeding heavily. Um, did he manage to flee? Are they if there's scratch marks on the rock? It's hard to tell with the lowest graphical settings on, but ah, sc oh, definite Lord scratch marks. Rock. Must have been angry and strong. Werewolf, hundred percent werewolf. It's gonna be a werewolf. If it's not a werewolf, then um, I'm gonna be disappointed. No, werewolves, as said, are bloody difficult to fight. Right, so it looks as though I may have stumbled across the first he body. On his back. Yeah. Bled to death. The thing is, there are a lot of uh, neckers around here, and I'm, I swear they don't live. Like, if there was a werewolf here, then that would drive them away. So I'm um, more curious than I was. What's going on down here? There was a fight here. Oh yeah, this is um. Two dwarves and already seen this. Something big. So it's up this way. I want to follow the the dwarf's tracks and see where they lead because it's the dwarf that walked away isn't it on um, this okay this is where he Let's landed pin this one to the ground so hard he suffocated everything oh. a young one must have arrived here recently need to find its totem okay so oh, i was completely oh, wrong lessons should find some near the totem so lessons that's um something i am very very unfamiliar with so let me um let me check the best jury and um, where would it be? Relics? Yeah, Kernan and Leshens. It's basically Malfurion, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, they, they dwell in woods. They're territorial creatures. They hunt with stealth and cunning. Uh, they use magic to control the plants and animals within the territory, and so when stalking them, half battle is merely getting near enough to strike. Ooh, that sounds pretty deadly. Um, exciting. And... They're weak to fire, which is good. I can use Igni to my advantage. False trail. Okay, so does that mean I don't want to go this way? It means I don't want to go that way. Probably want to go this way. For some reason, my Witcher sense is still active, even though I'm not holding right click. Don't know why, but I won't complain. So I'm following crows right now, by the looks of it, because they work for lessons or something of the sort. Hmm. Ordinary ravens looks like no sign of a totem. Crows, ravens, I always get them mixed up. I, it, the the amount of different creatures and enemies there are in which is bloody ridiculous. There's so many different stories and so much lore behind them. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, this is oh, this is totem. totem. Now to destroy it, I'm gonna piss it off, make it leave its lair. Okay. Try good old art, and don't know why I'd want to piss it off, but okay. It looks like it is gonna invoke a reaction. I wonder how big it is then, because I saw what it looks like, but I have no idea, like, if it's giant size, if it's normal size. It could be tiny for all I know. It's bloody d Oh, okay. No, it's like, it's like human size. I wonder if they have the power of communication. Like, can I talk with it? Nope, it's a straight on fight. I, I probably want to... Yeah, I definitely want to use my silver sword here. Um, oh, so he's got sort of got a phase ability. But... Okay, let's um, let's use both those potions. I haven't actually rested properly. Like I haven't um. Okay, he can use. Oh damn it! When he shifts, it causes damage to me if I go into where he is. So he very much punishes sort of fast attacks. So if he jumps away, then yeah, it hurts me. Right. Um, what runes was it? I was good. Igni was good. I'm guessing he can have some long range attacks too. So let's try and get up close and. Yeah, fire, fire is definitely effective against this guy. 
Let's jump away real quick and where's he going to be? I don't think I have the type of oil that he's weak against. Oh, okay, yeah, he has a long-range route attack. So um, I'll get up close in his face. Let's. It's, there should be a way to block him doing that. Um, I'll try a, through a few grape shots to see if he's weak against those. I'll throw those out and see if they do any... Okay, they do a fair amount of damage. I'll throw both of those out and manage to avoid that one. I need to drink another swallow and I need to change up my potions. So, um, what's the ones that stop magical abilities? I'll need to go in my usable items and can, uh, prevents monsters from transforming. That's worth a try. And a gas cloud might be good because then I can set that to fire. And blinding him, yeah, I, I don't think blinding him will be too good. Right now, any other potions I can use that will be handy. Sign intensity? Um, that will actually be good for my um, Igni. It means Igni will be more powerful. So um, let's drink that, then let's cast that. And that should do more damage now. And Jesus Christ, this didn't work on him. Um, my Thunderbolt did wear off. But I, think, I don't think I'll need it. I can actually just keep this up. Let's switch bombs to... Let's actually switch to Dragon's Dream. So I can do stronger Igni attacks. Oh, shit. I keep getting hurt from things and I don't know what. He's like... He's con oh, wait one sec. This is going to be great. There we go. Big explosion. And he didn't actually ignite from it. That's definitely unexpected. Alright, let's, let's try again. Oh, it's crows. Crows are flying in. And they're hitting me for a fair amount of damage. They hit me for a lot of damage. Who is this? I, I don't know who who just joined in the fight, but let's, um, let's ignore him and focus on another one of these. And now seems there's a lot. That should do a lot of work. There we go. He's down and boss attacks. But there's wolves. Is this just like a random hunter or bandit or something who's joined the three? Apparently so. Well, let's drink another one of those. Let's sort of avoid, avoid the crows and let's miss my agony. I thought it was closer than he was. But I'm, I'm very worried about my health. Alright, Igni. And he didn't catch on fire again. Alright, I should be okay. I just need to um, I just need to get one more Igni off. And not take too much damage. Because I'm on half health now and I'm losing health as we go to my toxicity. There we go. And wait a second. That guy's a werewolf, isn't he? That guy's a werewolf. So there is a werewolf on this quest. Great. I did call for one thing right. Right, where is... Oh man, my health. Oh crap. Alright, I need to I need to heal up. This is way too close to comfort. Time to eat some not raw meat. Let's let's eat some fish. Fish are always good. And I'll keep the sign intensity because right now it's doing me good. And I won't drink anymore because of my toxicity. Right, I'm actually gonna roll in and these bloody crows, man. Right, let's eat more fish. I just need him to come out of his little face shift. Wait a second. Isn't that what this is for? Alright, this will at least stop him from doing it. And he rooted me. Didn't do any damage though, but he, he can't transform right now, so... One more, one more, one more Igni. There we go. And... Do I go in for the attack? Then... Then... Oh, wait, yeah, he's dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so who's this guy? Oh no, he's, um... Yeah, he's, he's just out on a hunt. Gosh. I'll take that dog tallow and let's loot the monster to get a trophy. Leshen resin. There's a lot of crafting materials. A black unicorn, a new weapon, and the Leshen trophy. So let's take all of that. Let's check out this new sword. Where is it? Relic down here. Right, it's weaker, but it's got good odd and sign intensity and a chance to cause bleeding. And it, it looks pretty plain. Alright, um, I prefer my other sword. Yeah, definitely prefer that one. And Relic has a 10% chance to dismember as opposed to... Oh no, wait, well yeah, okay, it's a 5% bonus experience from monsters. Never mind, I would rather have the chance to dismember for more stylish kills. Alright, so let's call my horse, let's eat some more fish, because my health is still gradually ticking. And let's go get back and get my reward. Alright, so I've arrived at the County of the Goose, where Brosh is. Brosh, is it? No, Brawn Hotch. Such a strange name. Welcome, Master Witcher. And time to collect my reward. I killed the Leshen that attacked the Lumberjacks. Oh. That's wonderful. Grand even. I'll have to find some new loggers, but there's no shortage of folk looking for work. But can I be certain? No other lesson will show. It's possible, I suppose. I have to find a witcher if it happens. Aye, yes, yes. Well, your due reward. 
I'm not the kind not to pay for a job well done. <laughs> Based on earlier, well. I beg to differ, frankly. But there we go, Lord of the Wood contract complete. And um, a fair amount of crowns, a new experience with a new monster that I've never encountered before, and 200 experience. I'm pretty happy with how that came out. It's a shame the weather sucked so much, to be honest. But yeah, let me know if there are any in particular contracts you want to see next. In fact, I'll take a quick browse through. Right, I had to quickly avoid the main quest there in case of spoilers, but yeah, these are all the contracts I have active right now. This was a roughly high level one, but as you can see, I've got a low, lot of low level ones and a lot of really high level ones. So yeah, let me know if you want to see any of those. Until then, this is me, Evans with Z11, and this is me out. Peace.